Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm your host, Ashley Mazervi. It's Medical Monday with East Cooper Medical Center, but this time around we're visiting our friends at the Mount Pleasant Tennis Complex to learn how one Lowcountry physical therapist is using a number of methods to keep players of all ages in the game and out of the doctor's office. Medical Monday, sponsored by East Cooper Medical Center. Joining us today, Beth Maynard. She is a physical therapist at East Cooper Medical Center. Thanks for coming out today. Thank you for having me, Ashley. Okay, so today we're talking about training errors. What are some of the most common training yes. errors? Yes, the most common training error is playing too much. Okay. Back to back days, not giving your body a chance to recover is so important in preventing overuse injuries. Uh -huh. And I see that with young kids. I see that with older people. Mm -hmm. um, it's just across the board um, overtraining. One of the things I've always, um, at when I was back in the day, somewhat athletic, um, stretching, how important that can yes, be. Yes, that's a great point. A lot of times that's, a, that's the second biggest error oh, okay. is to come out and just start hitting. We train people to do a dynamic warm up, okay. which gets their body ready for the activity. And then after you play, we teach people a static stretching program. And it's very important that you do the dynamic warm up before okay. and the static stretching after to prevent injury. Because I can't even touch my toes, I'm gonna be honest with right. you. Right, right. So you could come in and we oh, can yeah, help I'm like, get, get all ready, because I need to <laughs> go back out and start playing tennis. Because uh. most people you see just come out on the court and start hitting. Exactly. And that's uh, dangerous. So what are some of the things if they don't stretch that you're gonna see? That, I mean, pulled muscles, all kind yeah, of stuff, right? Yeah, big muscle imbalance, pulled muscles. The muscles aren't ready to generate the power they need they're not warmed up um, so we see that a lot what are um, as far as when people come and see you how do you assess them how do you find out what the problem is um, well that's the great thing about a physical therapist you don't just send somebody to a computer and do strength training mm -hmm. because it's very specific strength training to rebalance the body mm -hmm. to not be predisposed to injury so they come in, we would look at an individual, spend a lot of time, the whole first session, mm -hmm. on assessing this. Okay. And so your individual needs would dictate the treatment. Okay, so does it differ between men and women or, um, or ages or anything like that? Or is that one thing that- That is something that, you know, ev in every individual mm -hmm. actually, it differs. So we, we um, don't just have a generic way exactly. of, of giving treatment. We look at the individual and how they're made, how loose their joints are, how tight their joints are, mm -hmm. where they may have overtrained in the past and created a postural change that we can affect. Well, I'm sure my mom's watching right now yes. and she'd be like, tell her to stand up straight. <laughs> so, so what are some of the tips you have? You've been playing tennis for a long time, passionate about it. So what are some of the things you tell people at home to keep in mind when, let's say they're either coming out here for the first time or they're avid tennis players? Uh, well, a lot of times we'll look at their technique and we'll, I'll definitely have them get with a professional, mm -hmm. a tennis professional. We can do some in the clinic, but we also recommend learning correctly, mm -hmm. learning the sport correctly. That helps prevent a lot of injuries that we would see. So we, um, and then if they see, you know, if they come into the clinic, we have all of our therapists can help them get an individualized program to do daily. And obviously communication is key, so they really need to probably pay attention to their body, correct? Absolutely. If you're hurting, that's a great point. A lot of people think they can push through mm -hmm. and it will get better. And that may have been okay when we were a teenager or in our 20s, oh. but if you try to push through, it will only make things worse and can really lead to a, a more serious injury. So please stop your sport for oh. two weeks. I always say two weeks. Two weeks. And then if you're still hurting, please seek help because it can get better. But if you push through, it tends to get worse. Because let's be honest, I mean, your body's changing. I, I remember things I could do in my 20s that, and now in my 30s, I'm like, that ain't happening, right? Right, absolutely. All right, well, thanks, Beth, Thank so much you. for your time. For more information, go to eastcoopermedctr.com.